लोड बैलेंसर लोड बैलेंसर टेक्स रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम क्लाइंट्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट्स देम अक्रॉस टारगेट इन अ टारगेट ग्रुप बिफोर वी बिगिन एंश्योर दैट we have a virtual private cloud with at least one public subnet in each of the availability zones used by our targets to create a load balancer using the aws management console complete the following tasks step 1 configure a target group step 2 register targets step 3 configure a load balancer and a listener step 4 test a load balancer step 1 is configure a target group configuring a target group for allows you to register targets such as ec2 instances this the target group that you configure in this step is used as the target group in the listener rule when you configure your load balancer to configure your target group open the amazon ec2 console in the left navigation pane under load balancing choose target groups choose create target group in the basic configuration section set the following parameters for choose a target type select instance select instance to specify targets by instance id or ip addresses to specify targets by ip address if the target type is a lambda function you can enable health checks by selecting enable in the health check section for target group name enter a, the name of group target say thick think cloudy modify the port and protocol as needed if the target type is ip addresses choose ipv4 or ipv6 as the ip address type otherwise skip to the next step note that only targets that have the selected ip address type can be included in the in this target group the ip addresses type cannot be changed after the target group is created for vpc select the pr virtual private cloud with with the targets that you want to include in your target group for protocol version select http1 when the protocol when the request protocol is http1.1 or http2 select http2 when the protocol request is http2 or grpc and select grpc when the uh, request protocol is grpc in the health checks modify default settings as needed for advanced health check choose the health check port count time out interval and specify the success codes if health check consequently exceeds the un unhealthy threshold count the load balancer takes the target out of service if the health check consequently exceeds the healthy threshold count the load balancer puts the target back in service add one or more tags expand the tag uh, tag section choose add tags enter the tag key and value 
allowed characters are letters spaces numbers in utf8 and the and uh, some uh, special characters are involved do not use leading or trailing spaces tag values are case sensitive choose next in the se step second is all about registered targets you can register ec2 instances ip addresses or lambda functions as targets in a target group this is an optional step to create a load balancer however you must register your targets to ensure that your load balancer routes traffic to them in the target in the register targets page add one or more targets if the target type is instance select one or more instance enter one or more ports and then choose include as pending below if the target type is ip addresses select a network vpc from the list or cho choose other private ip addresses enter the ip address manually or find the ip address using instance details you can enter up to 5 ip addresses at a time enter the ports for routing traffic to the specified ip addresses choose include as pending below if the target type is lambda select a lambda function or enter a lambda function arn and then choose include as pending below click choose create target group step 3 is configure a load balancer and a listener to create an application load balancer you must first provide basic configuration information for your load balancer such as na name scheme 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 and ip address type then you provide information about your network and one or more listeners a listener is a process that checks for connection requests it is configured with a protocol and a port for connections from clients to the load balancers to configure your load balancer and listener open the amazon ec2 console in the navigation pane under load balancing choose load load balancers choose create load balancers under application load balancer choose create under basic configuration for load balancer name enter a enter a name for your load balancer for example my alb the name of your application load balancer must be unique within your set of application load balancers and network load balancers for the region names can have a maximum of 32 characters and can contain only alphanumeric characters and hyphens they cannot begin or end with a hyphen or with backslash for schema choose internet facing or internal an internal internet facing load balancer routes requests from client over the internet to targets an internal load balancer routes uh, requests to targets using private ip addresses for ip address type choose ipv4 or dual stack use ipv4 if your clients use ipv4 addresses to communicate with the load balancer choose dual stack if your clients use ipv both ipv4 and ipv6 addresses to communicate with the load balancer for network mapping for vpc 
select the VPC that you used for your EC2 instance. If you selected internet facing for schema, only VPCs with an internet gateway are available for selection. For mapping, select two or more availability zones and corresponding subnets. Enabling multiple availability zone increase the fault tolerance for your application. For an internal load balancer, you can assign a private address, a private IP address from the IPv4 or IPv6 range of each subnet instead of letting AWS assign one for you. Select one subnet per zone to enable. If you enable dual stack mode for the load balancer, select the subnets with associated IPv6 CIDR blocks. You can select, you can specify one of the following subnets from two or more availability zones. Subnets from one or more local zones, one outpost subnet. For security group, select an existing security group. or create a new one. The security group for your load balancer must allow it to communicate with registered targets on both the listener port and the health check port. The console can create a security group for your load balancer on your behalf with rules that allow this communication. You can also create a security group and select it instead. To create a security group for your load balancer, choose create a new security group. For listening, listeners and routing, the default is a listener that accepts HTTP traffic on port 80. You can keep the default listener setting, modify the protocol or modify the port. Choose add listener. To add a new listener. If you create an HTTP listener, configure the required secure listener settings. Otherwise, go to the next step. When you use HTTPS for your load balancer listener, you must deploy an SSL certificate on your load balancer. The load balancer uses the certificate to terminate the connection and decrypt requests from clients before sending them targets. Additionally, specify the security policy that the load balancer uses to negotiate SSL connection with, your, with the clients. For default SSL certificate, do one of the following. If you created or imported a certificate using AWS Certificate Manager, select from ACM and then select a certificate. If you uploaded a certificate using IAM, select from IAM and then select the certificate. If you want to import a certificate to ACM or IAM, enter a certificate name, then paste the PAM encoded private key and body. You can use add-on services such as the AWS Global Accelerator to create an accelerator and associate the load balancer with the accelerator. Once the accelerator is created, you can use the AWS Global Accelerator console to manage it. Add a tag to characterize your, to categorize your load balancer. Tag keys must be unique for each load balancer. Review your configuration and create and choose create load balancer. A few default attributes are applied to your load balancer during creation. You can, 
you can view and edit them after creating the load balancer. So now we have successfully created a load balancer. Step four is test the load balancer. After creating your load balancer, you can verify your EC2 instances, pass the initial health check. You can then check the load balancer is sending traffic to your EC2 instance. After the load balancer is created, choose close. In the navigation, pane under load balancers, choose target groups. Select the newly created target group. Choose targets and verify that your instance are ready. If the status of an instance is initial, it's typically because the instance is still in the process of being registered. This status can also indicate that the instance has not passed the minimum number of health checks to be considered healthy. After the status of at least one instance is healthy, you can test your load balancer. In the navigation pane, under load balancing, choose load balancers. Select the load balancer, the newly created load balancer. Choose description. And copy the DNS name Paste the DNS name in the address field of an internet connected web browser. If everything is working, the browser displays the default page of your server. 